So now that we've heightened the gradient between the two points, and the gradient is how far up divided by how far along. So I'm going to do these in different ways. Let's first of all look at this one just, just by looking at it. How do I get from 2 to 6? That's 4. How do I get from 0 to 3? That's 3. The gradient is 4 thirds. How do I get from 0 to minus 2? That's down 2. How do I get from 1 to 3? That's 2. Minus 2 divided by 2 makes minus 1. Other people might want to stick it in a formula. Uh, a formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So the diff same idea, the difference in the y's. So I've got minus 4 take away minus 3 divided by 2 take away 1. I might just be a bit worried that you might go wrong with the negatives here. So minus 4 plus 3, that's minus 1 over 1. What's that? But I think just look here, there to there is down 1 is probably quicker. Let's keep going with that way. There to there is 3. Here to here is 7. 3 over 7. 0 0.5 down to minus 2. Well, that's minus 2.5. don't like using decimals, but we'll see where we go. And from there to there, from 1 to is 4. So minus 2.5 over 4. Now, you wouldn't leave it like that. So if we double the top and double the bottom, we can leave it as minus 5 eighths. And the last one here, then, it's gone from there to there, which is down 3. And from here to here, which is up 5. So I've just got minus 3 fifths is my answer there. And I wouldn't want them as decimals. All of those just as fractions is exactly as we want it. So if you've got through all nine sections there and perhaps looked up anything that you've had problems with, I'm sure you're going to be very ready to start A-level maths when you return in September. Enjoy the rest of your summer and uh, I look forward to meeting you in September.